Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared Huber. In this video, we have an unboxing from Mefferts.com. I have not ordered anything from Mefferts in years. So the puzzle on here is not available on any other website that I know of, so I just got it from Mefferts. Uh, it's been out of stock for a while, but they just recently uh, got it back in stock. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so here is the puzzle. This is a Pyraminx Duo, that is what it is called. Um, these puzzles have been out of stock for a while and they've actually become kind of rare uh, because they only had, uh, there was only a very limited supply when they were first released. Uh, people didn't know that they were gonna go out of stock, so uh, I didn't know that, so that's why I didn't buy one because it doesn't seem, it didn't seem like that interesting of a puzzle to me at the time. Um, but they, did what, they went out of stock and now if you try and look for them on any other site, um, they were out of stock for a while. Like I said, they just got back in stock on Mefferts and a lot of people didn't actually realize because I don't think a lot of people check Mefferts that often because I was uh, hearing some people talking about it in Puzzle Trader because people have been looking for this in Puzzle Trader for a while and someone commented that they were back in stock at Mefferts. I went and checked. I saw that it was in stock, so I ordered it uh, just because I don't know how long they're going to be in stock for and once they go out, you never know how long uh, it'll be till they get back, till they get more stock. Mefferts is not really great at that, at, at uh, keeping their items in stock. Usually, whatever puzzle they release just has a pretty limited run. Um, but yeah, this is a Pyraminx Duo, a very, very simple puzzle. Um, so as you can see, this is how it moves. It's pretty interesting, actually. It looks really cool now that I'm kind of seeing it in person. Uh, when I saw it in videos, I mean, it, it, the turning looked cool, but it's just, I don't know, it's interesting when you actually get to look at it from all different kinds of angles. I think it's really cool how the centers just go right under the other pieces, the other corners. Yeah, I think that looks really interesting. So, um, this is a very, very simple puzzle. I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere that it's only ever four moves away from being solved. I think that was from Red KB's video. Um, but yeah, because it's just it's just the corners and then the centers which can kind of be placed intuitively. Like that was just two moves away. So let me see if I can get this. Let me scramble this a little bit more. So let's see. It would be uh, one, two, three. Oh no, that messed up the centers. Oops. There we go. So you can switch around the centers if you just kind of do like um, a right up, left up, right down, left down type move. So yeah, I mean, it's really easy. So yeah, the actual turning of the puzzle is really nice. Um, it's not smooth, as you can hear, it does have a clicking mechanism, uh, but it's not um, like stiff or anything. It actually moves really well. That click is just there to help click the turns into place. So as you can hear, there is, when you make a turn, there's one, two, three clicks which is pretty standard for a clicking mechanism type puzzle. Um, I'm pretty sure since it just has three ball bearings per piece, so you're gonna hear three clicks. But yeah, you can kind of see it right down in there. You see that little ball bearing just, just right there? That's what causes that clicking. But yeah, the turning overall is very nice and you can actually finger trick it, which is pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, I'm just really a fan of, of how cool this it, it looks when the the centers are just moving right behind these uh, these corners. Looks really cool. But yeah, if you guys uh, were ever interested in this puzzle and then saw that it was out of stock and couldn't find it anywhere, uh, just uh, letting you guys know that you can get it again. It's $20. Uh, it's pretty expensive for a puzzle like this, but you know, if you're into collecting, you're into kind of rare-ish, rare-ish type puzzles, maybe go ahead and give this one a look. But yeah, if you guys do want to check this out, make sure to grab one while supplies last. Uh, the link will be down in the description below as always. Anyways, that's about it for this unboxing of the Pure Minx Duo. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a like. Links to all of my social media pages and my merch store will be linked down in the description below as always. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.